Jet Admin is the fastest way to build internal tools. Let me show how you can build a refund tool in just 3 minutes. The workflow is pretty simple. You want to identify the customer and the transaction and send the refund request to the risk manager for approval. To do that, we can search by the name or filter by the subscription plan or customer list. Select the customer, see the list of the transactions, select the transaction and then make a refund after setting the refund amount. And the last step, we confirm sending the approval request. Now, the risk manager goes to the collaboration tab and receives the refund approval request in their feed, checks the info, and if everything's fine, approves the refund. Now, let's get to building our tool. We start with an empty canvas and then drag and drop some pre-built UI components from the library on the right. Let's start off by drag and dropping the layout components first. And then we drag and drop a table connected to our database and select the collection with the customers that we want to display. Great. The next thing we do is we add another table to display the transactions. Once again, select the resource, the collection, and we get our data. So far, we've connected two different data sources, Postgres and Stripe, but you can connect as many as your case requires. Now, let's set relations between our tables. For that, we need to pass parameters from the selected customer onto the transaction list. For that, go to the Parameters tab and set the Customer ID parameter to be obtained from the corresponding field from a clicked row in the Customer collection. Ok, good. Let's add an option to filter our customers. To do so, we first configure our input field, in our case it's a drop-down field. Set the values for the drop-down, making them match all the unique plans in our customer collection. Awesome! Now let's create a filter that would dynamically filter our list of customers by the input value from the drop-down. For that, we go to the Filter tab and set it to match the input value from the drop-down component. And we're good to go! The last but not least, the button to make a refund. Drag and drop the button and connect it to the Stripe API. Set the ID parameter to be obtained from the selected transaction and set the amount parameter to be defined by the user. OK, the only thing that's left is to configure our tables. To do so, we go to the columns and then rearrange and make certain columns visible or invisible. We can also choose how we'd like to render different columns, as a picture, as a flag, or as a number, and so on. We can as well create custom fields and use formulas to retrieve and combine values from different fields. The syntax is the same as what's used in Excel. In our case, we combine first the last names to get the full name. Now, we quickly go through the same process for the second table and voila, our tool is ready. Thank you.